I'm going to show you how to build complete websites using AI in just minutes across multiple languages. I'm going to demonstrate this by creating a site in English and then instantly spinning up another one in Spanish. Then I'm going to walk you through adding a custom domain and publishing it live to the web. The best part, you own 100% of the code and you get free hosting. This isn't just an AI website builder, it's a revolution in taking back control of your online presence and moving beyond outdated high cost web hosting. All right, let's get into it. The app we're going to be using to do this and build these websites is gitpage.site. I'm just going to log in and we'll get started. All right, let's do this. This is the English one. Main heading, we'll go with Online Ninja. Online Ninja SEO Learning. This is going to be, let's go with Creative, that kind of style. Hero Statement. All righty, three key features. So I'm going to go with Fully Online Learning. Chat with your mentor and monthly live calls. Next, three benefits of the product or the service. We'll go with grow your traffic, convert visitors into customers, and the last one, get more five-star reviews. All right, next, would you like an FAQ? Yes, I would. The contact email is going to be admin ninja200.online. What have we got next? The call to action. So this will be HTTPS at ninja200.online. All right, so I'm going to submit this. It's going to build it. And while it's doing that, we're actually going to generate the next website. All right, so our next one's going to be in Spanish. I'm going to enter in all the same information. I'm going to type it in in English, but you can type it in in Spanish or whatever you like. Alrighty, so the sites have been generated. Let's take a look and see what it's come up with. So this is the English language site, obviously. We've got our main heading, 10 extra online traffic with Ninja SEO. I like how it's brought the icon in. And it's come up with a text logo here, which is linking obviously back to the index page. Subheading, another call to action, premium learning experience. And we've got some interactive elements here with some of these cool icons. And then we have a bunch of our benefits. So we can 10X our traffic, triple conversion rates and get industry recognition. Further down, we have success stories. It's even brought in some images. Next, we have an online Ninja SEO about. Obviously, this is draft copy that the AI has come up with, which would need to be updated. Then we have a bunch of FAQs. And then the next call to action. So any of these call to actions, start your journey, get started. And I'd say this one, if I click them, in theory, it should take me straight to the ninja200.online site. So let's test that out. Yep, that's working. In fact, the site that Git page has come up with is possibly better than the original one that it's redirecting to. But anyway, let me know what you think is better. That would be interesting to find out. So now let's go and take a look at the Spanish one. Just go back to Git page. This should be Spanish. I haven't got a clue what that says because I don't understand Spanish, but up the top here in the browser, it's asking me if I want to convert it. So I guess I should probably take a quick look and see what it says. It's automatically converted it here. So multiply your SEO 10x traffic in 90 days. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'll go back to Spanish, which is the default here. Um, so we can actually see it in both. I'm guessing there are like our features. I'm going to take a guess that that's our benefits. Got some reviews about us. Frequently asked questions again and our FAQ. Oh, a call to action. I'll just click on this call to action to make sure it's set up and it works. There you go. Again, it's heading straight to Online Ninja. Down the bottom, we have, I'll have to go back to the English one because it'll have the same. Down the bottom here, we've got our quick links. So all the menu items work. Features, benefits, testimonials, about us, FAQ. We also have legal, which is privacy policy and terms. The blog one, it probably should be on its own, maybe quick links, but these will work if I go to privacy policy. Here's our privacy policy. Terms of service. It's all there. And the blog. Get a bit of that SEO juice going. I'm not going to read through it, but go back to the main page here. The next step is we're going to hook up a custom domain on this actual site, and it's going to redirect to the main Online Ninja learning site, and it's also going to help boost the SEO of that main site over time because it's going to give it an extra backlink, and it's also going to bring in more leads. So let's do that now. 
Just before we set up the custom domain, if you decide to give GitPage a try, you'll get access to this Discord server where there is lots of users in here asking different questions, suggesting things, and basically just being a really great community. So if you do sign up, make sure you join the Discord and say hello. To set up your custom domain, you want to head over to github.com and you can see there's a readme file, a blog file, index, privacy, terms. In a previous video, I went through how you can view them, update them, etc. So I'll leave a link at the end of this video. I'm not going to go through them in this one. But to add our custom domain, just head over to settings, head down to pages, and we just want to enter in our custom domain here. Now, just before starting this video, I did purchase a domain. So I'm just going to put it in here. It is called seoninja.click and it cost me the total amount of $1.98. So once you enter in your custom domain, all you have to do is press save. And then it's going to say there's a DNS check in progress. Now for this to work, obviously you do have to enter in the DNS records in your domain provider. doesn't matter which provider you're using. You have to enter in records and they'll be very similar to this. You have to enter in four A records. The host will be at, and these are the four values. Now, once you've done that, depending on how long they take to propagate, you might get some errors or it might go through straight away. It's saying the site is live at seoninja.click. So let's click on visit the site. All right, so the page is rendered correctly. If you want to just check that everything is working, you can click on, say, the menu items, and you can see they're all clicking through seoninja.click, you know, about us, features. The call to actions, they will redirect as well. If I click on, you know, begin your SEO mastery today, it's clicking directly off to this site. I can go back and the blogs, etc. It's all rendering as you would expect. So that is it. We've generated the site in English. We've set it, generated one in Spanish. I hope you can sort of appreciate it is pretty straightforward. There's a lot of use cases for gitpage.site. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel and check out this other video on Gitpage right here. And I'll catch you in the next one.